Hello friends! Welcome back to my YouTube channel and welcome to another brand new Tumblr tutorial. If it's your first time here, hi, my name is Mal and I'm the owner and maker of Made by Manny and Mal. In today's video, we are going to be making another coffee themed Tumblr. I know I do a lot of coffee things on this channel, but that's just who I am, you know? Coffee is my blood type and I just, I'm always inspired to make coffee themed designs. But of course, you can take this and you can do a tea theme, you can do a water theme, you can do Diet Coke, you can do whatever your beverage of choice is, you can take this design and adapt it to whatever theme you want. It doesn't even have to be a drink related. A water theme tumbler would be kind of funny though. Anyway, we're going to do a herringbone template on the bottom of the cup. We're going to use some really cute pattern vinyl and we're just going to make a really cute pink girly coffee tumbler. I really hope you guys enjoy the video. You know the drill. If you do like it, please make sure you hit the thumbs up button down below. It really helps my channel out. So I appreciate when you do that. And if you're not already subscribed to my channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button as well. So you don't miss any of my new videos. I upload brand new Tumblr tutorials every Tuesday and Saturday. I will have a full supply list down below in the description box for you if you'd like to know where I'm getting all the things I'm using in this video. I'll also have links to all of my social media pages, my website, my Facebook group, and a link to join my exclusive mentorship group, MBMM Elite. All right, I think that's it. I really hope you guys enjoy the video. Grab a cup of coffee, grab a cup of tea, a Diet Coke, a water, and a snack, and let's go. We are using a 20 ounce skinny mug from Craft Haven for this coffee tumbler. And we're gonna start by painting the bottom half of our tumbler with this prickly pear spray paint. I'm gonna paint the top half of our cup white. Um, we're only gonna use the base paint for a portion of this design, but I'm gonna base paint the whole thing just as you can see here. And then we are going to cover half of the top half of our cup with this super cute girly iced coffee vinyl from peachy olive glitters what we're going to do is start by splitting our cup in half vertically so we're going to do on the bottom of the tumbler a herringbone design that goes around the entire bottom half but i want to split the top half we're going to do vinyl on one side and glitter on the other so i'm just going to split the entire cup in half vertically and then we will put this vinyl on one side Make sure you measure to make sure that your halves are even because if you're anything like me and you just eyeball it, they won't be even. So I always try to measure to make sure that my two halves are as even as I can get them. <laughs> I'm also going to tape off this bottom portion of the tumbler so I know where to end my pattern vinyl section. Now, of course, if you're using a cup that doesn't have a handle, all of this process will be a lot easier. Of course, adding the handle adds in an extra challenge, but I felt like with this being a coffee themed tumbler, I just had to do a cup with a handle and I love an extra challenge. So anyway, once I've got my cup taped off, I'm gonna cut my vinyl down to fit within this little area that we have designated for it. And you can see we're not using a ton of the vinyl here. So if you are in a position where you have to make a lot of cups, like a lot of the same design, this is a great option if you wanna incorporate a little bit of pattern vinyl into your design, but you don't wanna buy like 30 sheets of the same pattern, you know? So good option. So what I'm doing here is adhering the vinyl the same way that I normally would. I've got a piece of blue painter's tape on one end and I'm using that to secure the vinyl on one side of the cup so that I can ensure that it's in the right place before I actually put the vinyl onto the tumbler. So once it's positioned correctly, I'm gonna peel back a little bit of the backing, cut that away to expose a little bit of the vinyl adhesive, and then we can smooth the vinyl onto the tumbler and then deal with the handle once we have pretty much all of the vinyl on the cup. Once we get to the side with the handle, I'm gonna take my craft knife and just cut little slits in the vinyl to work it around the handle. Now, because this is a vertical split design and we've got our split, like our two seams meeting where the handle is, we don't have to worry too much about wrapping the vinyl like around the handle. We just want it to kind of flow into the handle um, easily, if that makes sense. So what I'm gonna do once I've got that done, I'm gonna cut all of the excess vinyl away. I'm using those pieces of tape as my guide to help me cut straight and on target. <laughs> um, and then we will move on to the other side of the tumbler with our glitter. Thank you. 
I'm going to remove all of the remaining blue painters tape from my tumbler and then I'm going to take some more tape and tape off this final section and kind of map out where I'm going to add the glitter onto the other half of the top portion of the tumbler. Now, even though we painted the top portion of our cup white, the spray paint didn't look very nice as you can see. And I kind of changed my mind and decided I wanted to use this really pretty ivory paint. This is Flippin' Awesome paint from the Crystal Act Company. So I'm going to paint that on my tumbler and use that as the adhesive for my glitter. The glitter we're using is Solstice from Peachy Olive Glitters. This is a glitter I have been very into lately. It's a really chunky, super pretty, kind of creamy pink iridescent glitter. Oh my gosh, I love it so much. And I thought that it went really well with the soft, girly images in the pattern vinyl that we used. So I put that all over the that half of our cup and the handle. So once I let that dry for about two hours, I'm going to go in and seal my glitter using my 50-50 mix of water and the glitter glue from the Crystal Art Company. So I'm going to seal that up and then immediately after I'm done with that I'm going to remove all of the remaining blue painters tape from the tumbler, set this aside and let it dry overnight. And now we are ready to move into the bottom portion of the cup which is our herringbone pattern. I cut this pattern out of stencil vinyl of course and I just as you can see here I'm going to cut it down to fit this bottom half of my cup, I'm just doing that manually. Of course, you can measure it and just cut out what you need. For me, it was just easier to do it this way. Um, so once I've got it cut down to size, I'm gonna cut away all of the white borders from my stencil vinyl, apply my transfer tape, and then apply this to the tumbler. Now I'm kind of going to apply this the same way I would like a pattern vinyl wrap. I've got my transfer tape on and I'm going to take a piece of blue painters tape, my favorite thing to use in this tutorial, and I'm going to secure one end of the vinyl to my tumbler, make sure that everything is wrapping around and meeting up as straight as can be, and then I'm going to peel back a little bit of the backing and smooth the stencil vinyl onto my cup. I decided I was just going to go all out with this girly pink coffee theme. So I'm going to use all different shades of pink and rose gold on this bottom herringbone section of the tumbler. All of these glitters are from Peachy Olive Glitters. I will have them listed down below in the description box along with a discount code for you. So I've got Nisa Pinky Promise, High Drama, Poppy, Pink Peppermint, Make It Pink, Umbridge, and Pearl. So all different shades of pink. They're all relatively fine cuts. I don't have any super chunkies in there. I wanted them all to kind of be the same size, um, so they just flowed really nicely. So what I'm doing here is mapping out with a Sharpie where I'm going to place each color, and now I'm going to go in and apply all of my glitters. I'm going to work from darkest shade to lightest shade here, and now I did this tumbler before I figured out that I wanted to use Mod Podge on things like this. So I learned from my friend Rachel at Mitten Made Craft. Um, she uses Mod Podge when she's doing intricate designs like this that have a lot of glitters because the Mod Podge dries faster, so you don't have as high of a risk of contamination. Now the glitter glue takes a really long time to dry, so if you want to avoid contamination, I would recommend using Mod Podge or another adhesive that you like that dries a little bit more quickly. 
because you won't have to worry about that as much. So here I'm using the glitter glue, but if I do this again, I probably will. I am going to use Mod Podge, even though I don't like it very much, but it does work great for things like this. I decided to paint the bottom of the tumbler with Nisa. That is the brightest pink color. Um, you could go with any of them, obviously, but Nisa was like really speaking to me on this particular day. I let everything dry overnight, and once everything was totally dry, I was ready to go in and seal it. I am gonna use my glitter glue and water mixture, and I'm going to seal each section individually. I am cleaning my brush off in between each color because, again, I'm trying to avoid as much contamination as possible. So I'm just gonna go in, seal everything, let it dry for at least two hours, and then I did two thin coats of epoxy on my tumbler, and now we're ready to apply our decal. So the decal we're using is one that I hand lettered. It is available on my website. Website, and it says more coffee please which is basically what I'm saying all the time <laughs> so for the offset we are going to be using this really pretty opal vinyl from tech wrap craft for the top part of the decal we're going to use regular oracle 651 vinyl of course in a really pretty soft pink color so you can see here I'm applying this to our white glittered section on the top portion of the cup and I've got my transfer tape on and I'm just repositioning it until it looks right to my eye I don't want it too close to the handle but I also don't want it to be like way wonky and off-centered so I just played with it until I liked where it was and then I placed that down on the cup and now I'm gonna place the pink portion on top I added a thin coat of epoxy over the decal to make sure that that was sealed in and now we're ready to go in with the rest of our vinyl work. So I'm going to be using for all of the striping on this tumbler my favorite vinyl ever, Champagne Gold Textured Metallic from Tech Wrap Craft. So I'm going to start by placing a stripe in the middle of the cup where the bottom and the top half meet. I ended up taking this one off and adding a thicker stripe here because I thought that there just wasn't enough pink on this tumbler already and I wanted to add a little bit more pink. So I took that off, added a thicker one, and now I'm gonna go in and add the same striping to the halves of the cup on the top where the vinyl and the glitter meet. It was a little tricky to get this to lie flat or lie straight um, around the handle, but just be patient, take your time, and it will be fine. And now I'm gonna go in with the same champagne gold metallic vinyl and I'm gonna add all of my striping to my herringbone. I cut these stripes really thin. I think they're 0 0.06 
inches wide. And basically all I'm doing here is outlining each individual rectangle in the herringbone. I'm just going to trim up the vinyl, make sure that everything meets up and looks really seamless and nice. Um, in all, striping these out took me about 30 minutes, I think. Um, just take your time, make sure that your lines are as straight as you can get them, and have fun. Turn on a podcast and just have fun striping. <laughs> Once I had all of the striping placed, I added another coat of epoxy to make sure it was all sealed. And now I'm gonna go in and do all of this sanding on my handle. That handle is looking really rough, so I'm gonna go in and just sand the heck out of it, try to get it as smooth as possible. I'm also going to sand down my top rim really well. This is really important if you want to get a good seal on your tumblers. You want just a tiny little sliver of stainless steel showing because that's what the epoxy is going to adhere to and give you a really good seal and prevent any issues when you give these to your customers or use them for yourself. So now finally we are going to add our last little bit of pink to this tumbler. I cut out a really thin stripe of the same soft pink vinyl that we used for the decal and placed that in the middle of that gold stripe in the middle of the tumbler. Added my final coat of epoxy and this is the final result. We are all finished. I really, really love how this turned out. This was so much fun to make. I am now officially addicted to doing this glitter herringbone pattern. It was really fun and I really like how it looks and I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you hit the thumbs up button down below. Let me know what you think down below in the comments and don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you are not already so you don't miss any of my new videos. I upload brand new Tumblr tutorials every Tuesday and Saturday. Thank you guys so much for watching as always. I appreciate you so much and I'll see you in the next one. Okay, love you. Bye. Maker of made by Who are you? Decline.